All right, all right. So, okay, here it is. Uh, in uh, answer, in response to uh, where did I lose a turret? I only had. Now I have three. All right. In response to uh, the video uh, mid bias in League of Legends, here's my explanation. I mean, look at the mid lane. It's like a it's like a, a highway for ganking. The enemy can come this way in the ramp from the middle, and there's a there's room for five champions. There's room for a team fight in the mid lane. Okay. It's all well lit. When the two towers are up, you can see the whole mid lane really fine. There's no ob obstacles really. Look at how wide this is. You can just walk in here, five champions wide, and gank the enemy champion. And if he leaves, well, you get the turret. So, so, so when they built, I'm uh, thinking here, here when they designed. Summoner's Rift, they went, okay, so now we have a nice mid lane here. The river is cut in half by the lane, by the ground here. Um, in reverse, Dota 2, the river cuts the lane in half. It's completely the reverse, completely opposite. So, in Dota 2, you don't even see the minions in the water because if you stand on the edge of the ground, let's say let's say you're you're here on the edge and that's the river from Dota 2, you don't even see the minions down there. There's no bush, but you have to get on the edge because if you're standing in the mid lane, you don't see the minions. You don't see the minions from the edge of, uh, from inside the lane. Plus, in Dota 2, the mid lane is surrounded by trees that can be eaten away, destroyed by the champions, which blocks, which will reveal most of the mid lane area. On Summoner's Rift, yeah, there's an edge here, you can hide there, you can hide in the bush, there's nothing you can, you can ward, but you need a ward in the bush here, a one there, uh, a ward here on the other bush, a ward in the pixel bush, and you need like three or four wards on, wards on each side to, uh, to illuminate the mid lane to avoid ganks. That being said, after you design the map and you think to yourself you're a game designer and you say okay let's let's create some champions let's create some champions for summoner's rift okay let's let's create hammer okay hammer mid lane what's he gonna do hammer hammer dinger mid lane wouldn't be able to get away fast enough to avoid a gank in the mid lane. Look at this highway. There's so much room in here. So you'd have to design. So they came up with champions with escapes like Ari and Katarina that can jump away and Azir and the first champions that could stick in the mid lane. Let's see. Uh, um, Ariana has a shield, has a defense, has a slow. You need champions at Z. Z can uh, shadow away. You need champions like that that can that can jump away. There is no way you you can. Uh, there's no way a champion could survive on Summoner's Rift without having an escape, a shield, uh, a shadow, uh, something to to flee quickly. No, no chance in hell. On Dota 2, the river goes across like this. You can stand on the edge, nobody sees you, you can stay behind, nobody sees you. You'd have to... You don't need an escape that bad, as bad as Summoner's Rift. What? Ooh, I 
didn't see the. <laughs> And so on some of the drift you create a champion like Warwick which can just jump on you in the mid lane. He can jump from let's say here behind the, the wall and jump the mid laner. It's not the same thing. They created on some of the drift champions that can just leap at you. You need a champion that can... Uh, at, you need flash. You need a champion that can run away or has a defense. You need hourglass. So of course there's a there's a mid bias in Summoner's Rift because because just of just because of the geography of the mid lane there's so much room in here and even if you stay under the, under the tower the enemy champion can go here behind and uh, show up here and there's no way to see it so you need another ward there so you need about five wards a ward there one here one two three four five six. You need six wards on each side to see the enemy coming. It's completely different on Dota 2. So is there going to be a mid bias on Dota 2? Of course not. Do you need uh, champions that can run away uh, on Dota 2? Not as much. Let's get some boots here. Oh, I'm out of juice. Oh, Gragas, you're just uh, stealing my kills, stealing my shit. should have come before when they ganked me Trash has to say right click the lantern <laughs> So anyway what other champions could you play mid? You could play, you could play, you could play Gragas mid. He has an escape. He has a stun. You staying, uh, my dear uh, Zara? You staying? No, you're not staying. Oh, come on. I didn't slay him, he just died. Turret death, death by turret. Uh, let me see, what are, uh, I can't think of the other champions that have uh, good uh, mid escapes. Uh, yeah, so Zed, Katarina, Ari. And of course you need, you're gonna design the game so that the champions have, they build abil ability power and oh, that's a long range, huh? oh I think I got him. I'm dead. Doesn't anybody ever know? So what else is there to say? So you need... Oh yes, the ability... So why are these mid laners ability full of ability power uh, able to burst down any defense? Because when you have a gank 3v1 on the mid lane, you want a champion that's been designed to... You want a champion that's been designed to ooh, one shot people so at least they can trade so at least the mid laner can have a kill in return he's not stuck he's not stuck there mid lane waiting to die you know maybe like a dota 2 champion that couldn't uh, couldn't have the power to burst down uh, three enemies or at least one and a half. So why um, a mid lane bias on uh, Summoner's Rift, League of Legends? In my opinion, that's a really good reason. Just because of the lane geography.
just because of this highway of death here. I mean, there's no obstacles for the enemy to gank. There's absolutely no obstacle. There, all the obstacles are there to help ganks. Are there to, there to, uh, they favor ganks. They help the enemy to hide. So that they can fly, they can hide here and flash over the wall there and catch the enemy uh, mid laners. Of course, you need, you have to design mid laners that can survive that. It's as simple as that. So that covers the the reason for really high burst, really mobile mid laners. As far as I can tell, it really justifies that kind of that de that uh, champion design. I wouldn't want it any other way. If I was, uh, I mean, why would you want to play a mid laner that has no escape, no ability to burst, no burst power? I'm dead. No burst power on. Uh, come on, a kill? E no. Why would you want a champ that has no burst power on a on a on a map like this? Oh, let's take it. See, the mid laner is sitting here. He can be ganked from. He doesn't even see this side unless he's warded. He doesn't see the bush unless it's warded. Uh, it's really dangerous. In every s website that you can see where they they teach coach people teach the game they say if you go over if you go past the mid region of the map you're getting into the really danger zone because how did you go from here back to your tower unless you have Zed or Ari or Katarina it's impossible even Katarina has a short jump she need to jump on a ward or a minion and flash away to survive a gank so to me that's a pretty good reason why you need in the mid lane uh, really high burst champions Doesn't anybody